Hey everybody, welcome to another episode of Fun with Linux. So today I'm thinking of switching my primary operating system to something different. So for about three years now, I've been using Arch Linux. It wasn't always on Arch. I used to use Ubuntu, and I used Ubuntu since I started using Linux. And uh, I've decided that maybe it's time to try something new. And the reason is, is because I've gotten so comfortable with Arch Linux that I don't feel like I'm learning anything anymore. I've got everything scripted. I know how everything works. I can fix it if it breaks. And I just I want to try something new. So I've got my Arch desktop, and it's running GNOME Shell 22 on Wayland. And I'm going to take I'm going to take this hard drive because, as you know, I no longer have a server. I'm going to take this 80 gigabyte hard drive, and I'm going to put all of my important information on it. Stuff that, you know, I really can't lose. As you can see, my desktop is quite, quite messy. Lots of stuff going on in here. It's not a, it's not a bad, uh, thing, but I just, I need to clean it. <laughs> so I've placed the extra hard drive in, I'm formatting it to extended 4, I'm gonna put all my stuff, like my Dropbox folder, and ISOs, and video files for the channel, and assets, and everything. I don't really have that much, 80 gigabytes I'd say. The regular hard drive on my desktop uses one terabyte of storage, mostly just because I do a lot of gaming and I use Linux as my primary gaming system, so I'm super excited to get onto Solus. So I finally got my Solus OS disk made and I'm just about to load the operating system. So the thing, one of the reasons that I've been so intrigued by this operating system, besides just the backend and everything, is just how fast it loads. Check out how fast this uh, live disk loads. Okay, so it's already in. And I click that, and uh, basically, it's about as fast as Arch, maybe a little bit faster, probably faster. And uh, normally, live disks don't go to this part this fast. <laughs> like it's already, we're already here. That's that's impressive. The live disk hasn't loaded the graphics part yet, but it's it's so much faster than anything. There's already a cursor. It's already loaded. Mm -hmm. That's impressive. Hello everyone, um, I opened up Solus OS. I'm in the live disk. I just wanted to take you guys along the way as I install my operating system from start to finish so it's not just me filming the screen or whatever. So I'm in the Solus uh, live disk and I have to say, it's the desktop environment is, is very, very good looking. Though the only thing that's kind of annoying so far is like, it wants to jump down here because you can totally tell that it, it does not want to be down here. So, I mean, I, I get why they would do that, but it's just kind of an irritating thing. But yeah, like, I'm very happy with what I see so far, and uh, the reason I, I like everything is I'm mostly one to use the terminal, but I have to say the uh, the app store that they got here is pretty nice. They've got like stuff you would expect in here, like all the browsers and everything, so you don't have to really worry about it. And uh, it's a pretty good implementation. I don't know if they're using like a, a fork of the GNOME software project. I also learned that I can also install GNOME Shell, so if I, I don't like Budgie, which it's okay, I may use it for a bit, but I'm tempted to, uh, to switch. It's nice to know that I can do that. And I heard Mate just came to it too, so that's cool. But anyways, let's start the install. So obviously I'm from the United States, so I speak English. A cool thing about this is it actually can find your location automatically. So that's my host name, and I can just go and... Uh... Yeah, I I'm really impressed with the installer. It reminds me of uh, almost like the Fedora installer in some ways, the Anaconda installer. Everything, it even gives you like an outline of what it's gonna do. I, I'm really impressed with this. So I'm going to start the installation and uh, we will pick up back when I get on Solus OS. Hey everybody, so I've gotten my Solus OS desktop installed. I'm on, uh, you know, I'm on my computer using it as normal. I'm going to take you through the setup process, just getting my computer set up the way I want it. So I've been using Budgie 
in a virtual machine when I decided that this is the desktop and everything, this is what I want to use. I was testing out apps to make sure everything is there. And for the most part, I like Budgie, but my biggest complaint, and this is a stupid complaint, and I, I doubt the creators will ever see this, but I really wish that I could move and make a panel. Okay, so this is what annoys me. I go to Budgie settings. Now you can create a new panel, but there are no panel settings to move it to another screen. So I have two monitors, and the thing that annoys me the most is is not having two two panels, identical panels, so that I can have my window list for each monitor. Like I do that with Plasma Five, I do that with Mate, I do that with uh, even GNOME can do it with an extension. Like that's my biggest complaint, and my other big complaint is just the the overall uh, the polish on this. I'm not I'm not saying anything bad like it's not a bad desktop but the the there's just a little polished things that I wish they would address and I assume that they will but the biggest issue is if I change the position of this like I showed you guys in the setup it it glitches out like I open it and for the most part the thing comes up right here but you can see it like fade up to the top and th and that's just kind of an annoying thing and I I do hope they fix that but but uh Overall, I like it. I just don't think I'm going to stick with uh, Budgie. It's just not for me. But I, I love the back end to this desktop. I, I think it's a great distribution just because of how packages are made and how they're done. And, and it reminds me of Arch a lot. And uh, the only thing I really miss about Arch is the AUR. But honestly, I can get most of that stuff on GitHub or take an Arch package and build it myself. So it's not a big deal. But So the setup, basically, I need a couple things. So the first thing I need to do is I need an NVIDIA driver. Now this is probably one of the biggest strengths to Solus that I've seen so far and that is the installation of the binary driver for NVIDIA is about as fast as it is with Arch because with Arch you just install uh, NVIDIA, the NVIDIA package and then you reboot. For things like Ubuntu you have to go through something similar to this but with the GLX thing for, for Solus it, it's literally it does it about as simple as is Arch Linux, something that I've always loved. And uh, everything's listed here, so if I want to get the 32-bit stuff, you know, I can go down here, I can find the GLX, uh, see if I can find it, 32-bit modules for 32-bit games. I can install that too, and it's listed, it gets all the packages that it needs, and it tells you what dependencies you need, which is pretty cool. I'm just really impressed, and the package manager is pretty cool too. Like, uh, it's better than any package manager I've seen for searching for stuff. The only thing that I've seen that's about as good as if you're using the new apt manager for Ubuntu, where it does color coded stuff like this, or if you're using like Yort and you're searching through the AUR and it also searches through uh, regular repositories and Arch. That's cool too, but you know, like, I am super impressed. Uh, I feel right at home. Hello everyone, I am still on my Solus desktop, as you can see. <clears throat> I finally got everything set up the way I want it. It looks basically the way my Arch Linux setup looks. I've got my, uh, <clears throat> you can't see the other screen, but I've got my workspaces set up. I've got the icon theme that I want. I've got everything working. I'm very happy with Solus. So I want to take a look at the performance here. So this is about what I was getting. Of course I'm recording so I've got a little bit more process speed, but this is about what I was getting with Arch Linux. Everything's about the same. I'm going to use this for a week and uh, we'll see where I'm at. Alright guys, so I've gotten everything going. I showed you on the screencast. Solus OS is a very good operating system, so I thought I'd go over briefly why I want to switch from Arch. I like Arch Linux, I really do. I like the rolling aspect to it, but my issue is every so often updates get to where I have to tinker with it and change everything around. And the only thing that's really keeping me on Arch Linux is the packaging. I love Pac-Man, it's my favorite thing to automate and to use, and it's so detailed, and of course you have the AUR, which I will always miss, but there's always GitHub. <laughs> but I've just gotten bored of Arch. Like, I, I know that sounds stupid, but I just, I want to learn new stuff. I want to try new stuff, and I'm going on this journey, and I think I've finally settled on Solus because I have tried other operating systems, and they just don't do it for me, so I'm hoping that this is my last stop. 
until I get bored. <laughs> but yeah, everything is, is great. Uh, like I said, the only thing I would change is make Budgie so that I can have multiple panels on multiple monitors and configure them a little bit like KD lets you or Mate lets you. But I'm not going to get too much into that. This was more documenting the process of switching, which you guys saw. I am going to use it for a week and I will come back with a full review of all the features and everything and you guys will hear from me next week about that. I decided to make an extra episode this week because I was bored, nothing to do today, and I thought, you know what, let's make an extra episode. This might happen often, I might make extra videos, bonus episodes. If you are new here, please click the subscribe button down below to be updated of all my videos. Click the notification button if you also want to be notified as soon as I upload. And make sure to click the like button and share it if you liked it.